Hey guys, Zach Marsh here, and welcome back to Gaming News. It has been a while since I've done one of these, but uh, I figured I would do one because Power Worlds a game, is a game that released recently. And uh, essentially, what the premise of this is, is that it's essentially, I guess the best way to describe it is Pokemon with guns, because that's what a lot of people have been saying about it. So... Uh, here's the thing, Power Worlds came out like this weekend, it's been, and the responses have been incredibly positive, a lot of people have really, really, really liked this, uh, this particular game, and the main reason is that, you know, obviously the whole Pokemon with guns thing, a lot of people like the idea of it being like, you know, collectible, a collectible creature game where you can also, also collect guns, and then also it is a survival game, and also it is a darker take on the whole Pokemon concept. Like, essentially the idea is you can catch your pals and a whole bunch of other things, but what makes the game interesting is that uh, it, ta it takes a lot of darker aspects of the, of the fear franchise of those kinds of games that we don't usually see. Like, essentially... Essentially, the essentially Pokemon for a while now has been, been unable to do this, but essentially in the Pokedex entries, they have they they have obviously hinted to the idea of hey, we live in a world with Pokemon. What would that look like? This takes it to its logical extreme by actually exploring what that would be like, like actually going into the idea of you know exploring the game, going into like figure pointing out that yeah, you, that you're in a world with Pokemon like creatures. Obviously, some things are going to be a little bit weird. Um, like the, I, I haven't played the game for myself yet. I haven't, I've, I haven't bought it, of course, but, uh, I have heard that a lot of, that a lot of the thing is that it's a, it's a survival game. It plays a lot like Ark. It's, uh, it is, but essentially it's, it's Ark, but with Pokemon is a better ex description of it. Um, you can shoot, you have, you have various weapons. You can play, do you use your pals however you want. You can ride your Pokemon around. You can build structures, which is cool. Projection, you can have them produce things for you. Um, farming, you know, you've got factories and automation. Uh, dungeon exploration, breeding and genetics, you know. Also, but then you also get to some of the later ones, which are poaching and crime. You can essentially take, pa take endangered pals from their homes and enslave them. And that is kind of, you know, where the darker part of the game comes in. Like... Obviously, Pokemon doesn't let you just walk in and poach Pokemon. That's obviously something that does not happen. Um, but uh, yeah, essentially, this is the main thing: is that you can capture, is that you can capture rare Pokemon, and then the, obviously the description is like it's not a crime if you don't get caught. After all, implying that yeah, they know that there's something a little bit cheeky. Um, but uh, yeah, essentially, that's what the game is. It has been extremely positive, and it has been doing really, really well for itself. And, of course, the game has done really well for itself on Twitter as well. Um, as you can see here, Power World is quickly becoming the second highest grossing game of all time. It is, uh, well, at least on Steam. It has already exceeded 1.85 million people in the, only the few days that it's come out. It has grown, it has grown significantly. Um, it has become one of the, it is in the, in the process of overtaking Steam and becoming one of the biggest games on Steam, which is crazy to think about like they like this game is clearly made is clearly history having a lot of history in the making and that is great to see i am very happy that the game is doing well for itself it is doing great it is doing great and it absolutely deserves it to do great however this is where we get into the bit of the darker side of this because what i'm doing because essentially what as i've been looking into the game and this has just been all over twitter for the past several days since the game was launched uh Power World has unfortunately faced a lot of controversy for things that we will be ta discussing in a minute. So, uh, essentially what happens is, uh, Power World, I'm, I'm using Bloomberg as my article here, but essentially what happened is Power World, uh, took the idea of, essentially what, what people have noticed is that some of the designs for Pokemon are very sim are very similar to things we've seen, to things we've seen before. Like, it is... Like, it is uh, obviously very suspicious, suspiciously similar. Some of them are clear over clear overlaps of other things that we've seen before, which is nuts. Like, this is, like, there's been issues with, like, people have noticed that Luxor, that the ones that looks like Luxor is a little bit similar, the one that looks like, you know, obviously, obviously the issue, there's the issue of Pokemon just be having absolutely massive, obviously, uh, you've got issue. You've got issues where uh, 
Obviously, there's over a thousand Pokemon now, so obviously you're not going to have completely original ideas. Unfortunately, that is impossible with how many Pokemon there are, with how many Pokemon there are at this point. That being said, they have cut. There are there, some people have noted that there does seem to be some sort of plagiarism thing going on, which is unfortunately where where are why I decided to make a video on this because unfortunately. A lot of the discuss a lot of the discussion online about this game after it launched has been essentially built around that. That's a uh, Pokemon has been you know played play, play, plagiarizing itself and is also uh, that Pokemon has been plagiarizing itself. It all that they've been plagiarizing Pokemon. People have made various claims and comments about it. It is a obviously a big obviously a big big issue. Obviously that's not okay. You can't do that. Uh, so, uh, but, any, but yeah, that is essentially what the main, what the main topic of the today is, uh, that they have received a lot that they've, and also the developers have received a lot of death threats as a result of this, which is not super, super great. Uh, so unfortunately I do need to take a bit, a bit of a minute. Like obviously the entire idea is that Pokemon is that obviously po a lot of people really love Pokemon. And so... The, that's the main pe those are the main people who have absolutely been you know discussing pokemon as uh, discussing this entire thing as well obviously the the big problem is that uh the big problem is that is that some of the designs are just way too similar you cannot do you cannot do that people have been quick to point that out um but what we find out is that actually um according to po according to various like articles that i've read uh, Power World didn't really copy Pokemon, didn't really cop, try to copy Pokemon. As I said, it's trying to copy Ark and it's trying to do that. But, uh, of course, we've got quotes here, um, claiming that they're making, they're, 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 they, they, that they're, uh, they've been getting death threats, unfortunately, from Pokemon fans. And the issue with that is that Pokemon fans are, unfortunately, very toxic at their absolute worst. Um, like, I don't usually talk about them, but essentially they are very, they can be very nasty. Like, they, like, they're, like, legitimately, this is not the first time they have sent some, they have sent a company, a company death threats. Like, back when Sword and Shield were still new, and back when, you know, the whole National Dex thing where they split off, where they split off the National Pokedex into an, into a separate app was still, into, was a set, was still a thing, and was still fresh in a lot of people's minds. People went after Game Freak for doing that. Like they were very pissed off at Game Freak for doing it, for doing essentially, for for essentially just walling off, according to themselves, walling off Pokemon, walling off Pokemon behind a paywall and not letting them have access to them. When the entire point of Pokemon Home was that so that they could, you know, boot the national decks from the game so that they could focus on the Pokemon that are already in the game and also give you access to all your Pokemon so that you still have them and can transfer them in and out whenever you want to that is of course a bit that is of course a big issue that that is of course something that they decided to address that they've addressed and in recent in more recent times we have seen that they that they have in fact done done good on that promise and have actually brought a lot of pokemon back a lot of pokemon back to the point where there's only like eight i think that aren't on the switch any at, at this current point but yeah for the most part it's been it's been bad but uh yeah so a simple but of course the problem is that uh obviously Power World is got, giving power, obviously people getting death threats over use over the models looking somewhat similar is a bit extreme. Obviously, plagiarism is bad. Don't do this. But uh, according according to very to various sources I could find, like they apparently did not do this like deliberately. Um, the, like this is like this is not intentional. Like obviously people they've admitted that they didn't really that they've admitted that they haven't really. This is absolutely down, and obviously they pointed out it's absolutely down to Nintendo as to whether or not to do anything. Uh, and that's essentially where we're at. Like, everybody is like, yeah, Nintendo is probably going to do something. I don't think Nintendo will do anything, because from what I've read in these articles as well, um, Nintendo is aware, but also so is P Pocket Pair. They are, they admitted, they've admitted that they've, that they have, they, they they have admitted that they have, that they took more influence from from Arc Survival Evolved than they did with Pokemon and just made poke their own designs for the most part. Obviously, it's not super super great that they may or may not have copied they may or may not have blatantly copied some of the Pokemon designs, but 
Honestly, the game is still in early access access at this point. It is they could easily fix that. That is that for the final release. That is absolutely something that can and probably will be changed later on the road at some point. Like is like if they're like there is if something does indeed come up from this, like Nintendo decides to actually sue Power World for over this, that could potentially be a problem. Like obviously but this is Power World's first, this is Project Pair's first big game. Obviously, that is, obviously, because this is their biggest game, this is one of their biggest games that they, uh, they obviously wanted to make it as good as they could be. I think, obviously, taking, taking the time to actually, you know, change some of the PALs will help out in the long run and make it so that they are, you know, a less copyright infringy. Obviously, not all of them are. But, like, there are some that have parts of Pokemon borrowed, and then there are some that are just straight-up copied from Pokemon. And and I don't think that was intentional, because, they, again, they, they admitted that it was Project Arc. That, that they admitted that Arc was the was the main thing for Power... was the main inspiration for Power World and not, you know, Pokemon. They admitted that they, that they weren't even aware of the Pokemon, me Pokemon with gun memes until after it came out. And we're also conf and we're also confused that people didn't think it was a real game. People thought it was a meme game, but uh, of course that's not that's not the big deal. What is a bigger right? What is a bigger deal is that a lot of people have admitted that they believe that uh, Power World uh, is that they've admitted that Power World is using AI. That is a that is also a big issue that a lot of people have brought up because. Uh, Unfortunately, Power World is not their first, Power World is not the first game is not Project po Pocket Bear's first game, but uh, a big concern that a lot of people have brought up is the use is the potential use of AI in their games. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Um, for, po Project Pair has and in, in, is kind of leaned into AI as well. The issue is that uh, unfortunately, one of their previous games, AI Art Imposter, was built around the idea of using AI art as a party game. And as you can probably tell, see by the Steam reviews, did not go over well. So essentially the people have been using pointing pointing this out that uh, obviously the, the CEO of Project a Pocket Pair have have been has been very vocal about AI and being, you know, kind of being experimenting with AI and obviously this game is them doing exactly that. So yeah, the pro the, this is of course has brought up concerns that may that maybe Power Worlds uses AI as well, but personally, uh, I do not see that being a thing. So going into this article here, this article is of course about uh, obviously Valve, uh, obviously about how Valve doesn't really has a pol Valve's policy on you know AI art used on AI generated stuff in their games, but. Uh, I'm going to scroll down the full statement here, but essentially Valve's statement is that they allow AI conditionally. Essentially the premise, essentially what they do is they like, they don't mind you using AI in your games, but especially since, you know, it's currently up in the field about if AI is good or bad. Um, but they do have policies against, against, against using use of AI. So essentially their policy is that, they will use AI. Is that the way? Is that the way they have their their policies are set up? They will use AI. They let you use AI, but only if it's used in real time in engine. Essentially, if you use AI generated images, arts, models, and it goes into AI, it, into, it goes into a, and it obviously goes into the you know the game and system and all those other things. Unfortunately. That is what that is where they set set up the ban hammer. They do not like AR, AI that is used as part of the game as part of the game development process, and you need to disclose that. Uh, they also have, of, for, of course, have no problem with AI being in the game and used as part of the game, which is how AI art generator got got into Steam. Essentially, it uses AI art as a game feature, and that is how the game got. And that is how the game, of course, got made it into the. Oh, it made it onto Steam. That is the main. That is the main way that they were able to do that. But uh, of course, of course, this is this. Of course, brings up a bigger another issue that uh, obviously a lot of people have compared Power World compared Power World to a Pokemon, as I said. But of course, we gotta get. Of course, now we gotta get into kind of the more nitty gritty stuff. Nitty gritty stuff about this because a lot of folks point have pointed out that obviously 
Power World is very similar to Pokemon. A lot of people have, in fact, pointed that out. And, uh, of course, that is, this, of course, has caused the community to just go rabid, as we've already discussed. I've already discussed how Pokemon is a very, has a very toxic community where... Among, where, among the people who know who do con, who do know how to do valid constructive criticism, there are unfortunately a very loud minor a very loud group of people within the Pokemon community who don't understand game design also and also don't understand how the like they don't understand how they're how the game they don't understand game design. They also don't understand that uh po they but they do know that Pokemon does need some sort of competitor to kind of you know get into the into the, the point where they can actually make the where they can actually improve and finally fix fix some of their problems unfortunately i do want to point for fortunate fortunately point out that this has unfortunately happened a lot so unfortunately a lot of a lot fortunately a lot of what happens with poke with uh pokemon and other things is that all people gas up new po new, new any monster catching game as the quote-unquote pokemon killer unfortunately this has never happened. Um, the, like the entire the entire issue with that is that Pokemon gets is that Pokemon is just massive. The reason why this does not work is because Pokemon is so strong as a brand. Like they unfortunately have, like for, like there's a, like the main thing is that obviously uh, Power, Power World is quickly coming to outsell Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But uh, un, but the but the issue is that is that Pokemon is that the Pokemon games are not the main source of, of revenue for the po for the Pokemon series. They've also got merch, the anime. They've got, you know, they've got they've got uh, obviously obviously a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of things. They've all, I think they still have manga sales as well from the Pokemon manga. Uh, they've also got you know DVD sales from the from the Pokemon. They've also got a bunch of spinoffs that aren't you know directly tied into the into the main series RPGs, but are still things that they do that they cut that they cover and are still games that they promote. And of course, the issue with that, and of course, that's the that's the thing. Like you can, like you can say that it's gonna be the Pokemon killer all you want. It's not gonna work. But obviously, Power World is kind of doing is kind of doing well for itself. The main reason is that the game, of course, looks gorgeous. We've already gone into its gone into its Steam page as well, uh, and and essentially, we've already gone into we've already gone into its Steam page as well, and the game looks fantastic in large part because it's made in Unreal Engine. If the game, if the yeah. But essentially, it is made in Unreal Engine, and a lot, and that's of course means that your game is going to look gorgeous. Unreal is a really, really solid and well is a really solid engine. It is the game that of course Fortnite is made in. So it is, and of course, Epic Games owns the rights to that, and they will let you make your games however you want as long as you, you know, pay them a commission after your game makes enough sales. Um, but uh, it is of course a really, but of course. This this mean this does mean that uh, graphically Power World it has an advantage over Pokemon, and obviously the fact that it's on PC means that it's also got an advantage over Pokemon. Uh, and then, but, but of course this doesn't this doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be the Pokemon killer because Pokemon, for all of its faults, is kind of well designed. Like I like legitimately I played through I've been playing through Scarlet and Violet on my on my own as well. Like I've been making a let's play on that series and. Uh, and also streaming that, and essentially the game. What I found out while playing the game is that uh, Pokemon is really good at pointing you in the general direction of things you need, um, which of course has been, which of course has been. I need to mute, pause this, but which, which of course means that uh, you are going to find yourself in the general direction of things you need to, of objectives you need to follow, and uh, by going to one, you're essentially going to be within spitting distance of three or four other things that are on your list. So overall, Pokemon is. Well designed is just not well polished. That is something that I have been very vocal about, and that's something that I want to bring up that I've brought up a couple of times now. Um, but of course, one of the but and of course that this doesn't mean that Pal World isn't couldn't one day you know be a really strong contender for another poke for another Pokemon alternative. Um, of course, I've already discussed some of the things it needs to deal with, and. Uh, I also meant that I've also discussed some of the things it needs to solve, some of the things it needs to deal with. Obviously, the fact that some of the pals look a little bit similar, they need to kind of fix that, maybe for like a sequel game or something, because obviously they're probably they they realize that this is good that this game is making bank for them. They are obviously going to want to continue the series at some point and are most likely going to have to and are most likely going to continue to support this game as well until they can't make a make probably a sequel with new stuff in it. 
I don't know. Well, we'll say, well, I definitely have to play that by ear, but, uh, of course the issue, of course that it doesn't, that it took, I don't think it will be the Pokemon killer, but as we've already discussed, it could very well be the, what is PUBG killer because it is currently catching up to PUBG in terms of overall sale and sort of overall sales and concurrent players on steam, uh, to the point where the servers for power world actually crashed a little bit, which I, which I find is really funny. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the game is so popular right now that it, the suit they can't keep up with demand, and there's still and the servers are kind of shut or kind of had they had to shut down the servers and expand them, and uh, and of course they also can't keep up with the Xbox release as, as well because so many people are playing that and they have to constantly p p put out p bug patches and other things for that. Honestly, you go you love to see it. It's great. But, uh, on Ford, but of course, there is one last thing I do want to go into, which is that IGN has actually, has actually covered this game, this game a lot and has covered some of the things that the community has to say about that. And I am not going to show that article because unfortunately IGN decided to do probably one of the dumber things I've seen and an online news site do, which is that they have taken P, which is that they unfortunately opened up the door for target harassment against people. Like essentially they made an article where they cut, they they cut where they do, did catalog all the things that uh, people have said have people have said and done about the said about the games and uh, obviously everything I've just said about how the designs for some of the pals might be plagiarized there might be AI involved but I probably not considering how Steam warp Steam's policy on AI works um, obviously all those things I just said obviously all those things I just said but what they decided to do is leaving all of the comment all of the Twitter comments and other things without blurring out any of the names and have just been like, oh yeah, this person said this, this person said that, this person is important this person you should probably you should probably listen to. And uh essentially the issue with that is that obviously because Power World has resulted in a very volatile discussion around it, that is, of course, open up the open up the door for targeted harassment because, unfortunately, people now know like, oh, this person I don't agree with. We can send a we can send a bunch of comments their way that are probably be that are bad. That's not super great either. So, honestly, honestly, I do I do, I should mention that it's probably a bad idea. Do not do that. But of course, IGN needed shouldn't have done shouldn't have made that article. That is, of course, on that that is of course a complete bat no no on their end. They should not have done that. That is really bad. But uh, overall, I also I also really like the idea of the, the the I like this game. I am probably not going to be streaming it or playing it at some point, mainly because it doesn't fit into my into my recording schedule. But also outside of this video, but also because of all the things that have been said and said about it. Obviously, there's there's been a quite there's been quite a few there's been quite a few things said about Power Worlds, and a lot and not all of them have been great. So I'm definitely going. So while I am definitely going to play it for myself because I do like the idea of you know Ark, but with Pokemon, that is a really fun idea. I can't get behind the idea of actually making content on it outside of this video because at least until the controversy and all that dies down. Because unfortunately, people are people are being people. Are, I've also seen people get harassed for this as for playing this game as well. And I understand that the game's not for everyone. I also have some friends who have been also been vocal about either being for or against it so overall i just want to if i am going to play it i am probably going to play it on my own time and i'll make content on it outside of this video but uh or at least for or at least for right now maybe later down the line i may make a series on it but uh of course but and of course this is but for anyway any in any case i am very happy that power world is doing well for itself like as the end result, I've obviously pointed out all the things that it's done wrong and all of the things that it definitely needs to fix for its final release. But overall, I am impressed with what I've seen with what I've seen in s being said about this game. I am very much I am very much going to play it, just not on just not on camera. So uh, overall, I am looking forward. To, I am hoping that everybody is looking it does continue to support the game because obviously. The game is the game is doing well for itself for for a reason. Like the reviews have been very positive about it because you know a lot of people like that like the idea of Pokemon with guns. Um, I don't condone some of the behavior some of the Pokemon community has had regarding regarding this, but uh, yeah, like look at all look at all these 
look at all these look at all these reviews these reviews have been great these the reviews are great and obviously and obviously the entire whole meme format like some of the game some of the things the game lets you do to your pals are funny so overall it has definitely won a lot of people's hearts for that reason as well so and uh ob and of course and of course this does help fill the void in the fact that pokemon doesn't look the best presentation wise and this is and this game has a step up on that while also being its own thing. So overall a fun game overall a fun game. Overall definitely recommend definitely I will probably have to play it for myself, but overall I've seen people highly recommend it. I may wind up recommending it myself once I've actually played it. But uh you know, I think the main issue now is that they just need to deal with the idea of power to just deal with the idea that some of their pal deal with the problem that some of their pals look too similar to pokemon to existing pokemon like there have been a couple that i've seen that are like yeah they're kind of po they kind of do look like po like like like, like divergent like can diverging ecologically similar pokemon if you look at them so yeah the issue so yeah that's unfortunately where the where the get where the game is it's gotten some issues for some samey designs in a, based on Pokemon, based on existing Pokemon, when they have commented on the fact that they have not made existing Pokemon. The developers themselves have gotten death threats over it, so that's not super great. As there's more, there's a bit more concern about the maybe the game uses AI, which again wouldn't be the case since it's on Steam and also it's on the Xbox, it's on Xbox Game Pass. So. Of course, that's that. Of course, that may that means that it probably isn't using AI, considering how Steam's policies works, and considering that uh, Microsoft themselves are personally supporting it. So, overall, I don't think that's gonna. I don't think it's AI. I don't think it uses AI. I just, I just don't see the, a case for that at all. But uh, obviously, the Pokemon and obviously the Pokemon fandom does not like this game very much because of that. Like, like they're essentially on the fence where it's like they either really love this game and think that it'll be the Pokemon killer, or they really hate this game because they because they believe believe that a lot of the designs were directly copied and have sent obviously have sent the developers death threats, which you know I do not condone. Do not do that. But uh, unfortunate. But yeah, that's about where I want where I want to leave it. So yeah, overall. I am looking. I do like the idea of this game. I do like the idea of this game. I do think it shows promise. Just maybe change some of the power designs a bit so that they don't feel as copyright infringy. But overall, thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, if you enjoyed, definitely be sure to like like it because I know I haven't done one of these in a while, and I would like for this to do a bit bet uh, do them a bit well. I would like to do them more frequently. So if you have other stories that you would like me for me to cover, I would absolutely love to make more videos like this. That would be cool. That would be really cool, really fun. But uh, I think, I think, and uh, yeah, obviously subscribe. I don't make these often. I think the last one was my made was on the Binding of Isaac's tenth anniversary, which the the thumbnails for weren't particularly great. I have beefed up my thumbnail since, so maybe it'll be interesting. But yeah, I just wanted to make it. I just wanted to make a gaming news on this because I know that this is a big topic right now, and I was like, maybe I should get some of the facts straight a little bit as, and help people. Some people find a bit of the facts straight, but. Uh, yeah, definitely. Thank you for coming to hang, came out and support me and watching the full video. If you enjoyed them, um, like all the uh, like all the articles I were, I covered, I covered and talked about will be in the description. So please, so definitely go read them on at your on your own. Um, don't in the case of the IGN one, maybe be a little bit more wary because that game because that one has a lot of Twitter posts in it that lead to actual people who commented on the game. So be careful with that one. But. Uh, Otherwise, yeah, I do enjoy I do enjoy talking about news and stuff like this. So definitely give me more give, give me more topics to talk about. I would love to do that. But uh, for right now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter in the description below. Be sure to check out my Patreon in the description below as well. I would appreciate that. Go check out my Discord link is down in the description as well. I would appreciate that. Um, just go to do that because I do want to do more movie watch along things. I'll probably do them at the first of the month, but at the beginning of the month rather than the end because, you know, I'm currently streaming. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. But NK, also be sure to follow me on Twitch because I am currently streaming Kingdom Hearts over there as well as over there. That is a bit, that's a series that I want to do well. So please go support that, um, especially since, you know, I don't get money for that. <laughs> Like essentially, I got all they all get copyright claimed except for the main thing where you can get you can get completely taken down. So outside of the main problematic one, I have 
done my best to cover for that. So definitely go support that series. I would appreciate that. And also be sure to go and check out my Discord. Again, go check out the, the, the videos linked in the end screen as well. I would appreciate that. Uh, the top video is the most recent one. It may or may not be this one. Which the bottom video is recommended to you based on what you've already seen from me. You may be more news related stuff. I would appreciate that. Um, and also, yeah, go and also be sure to go check out my Patreon. Again, link is on the end screen as well as in the description. It does help support me and it does help fund future projects. So definitely go help support, go help support me. And I would absolutely appreciate that. But in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.